The year was 1952, when Weber Bilsma immigrated to Australia from Holland by ship, not able to speak English and having very little to start their new life. Arriving in Melbourne, Weber, his wife and children located to Rokewood in a cold, sand-floored house, which wasn't an ideal start to their new life and was a far cry from what they'd left in Holland. Within 12 months, the family moved to a much better home in Walker Street, Ballarat, as Weber had started his own business as a builder carpenter. W. Bilsmer and Son, the building company was established with very little equipment. And with nothing readily available in Ballarat, Weber's son John saw an opportunity to purchase their own equipment, including a mobile concrete plant. With this new opportunity, John made arrangements with his local bank, and before long, additional equipment was purchased, which was the start of the Bilsma Hire Fleet. See, it all started, uh, we had the plant which we were using in the building industry and people wanted to hire it. And uh, I said, okay, we'll give it a go. We started with some machinery and added to it, and again and again, and then they wanted form work, we had it, so okay, we hired it out. And then I realised it was better to keep this whole thing on the move and we added to it to no end and became a fully fledged hire company. It started with an old compressor, but it worked and served well for many years to come. The hire business continued to grow and remained operating out of the backyard shed until 1954, when the house was built in Albert Street by John and his wife. With a growing hire business, as well as the building services, it was apparent that more space was needed and W. Bilsmer and Son moved to bigger premises established at what is still its current address on Albert Street, right next to the family home. The fleet of equipment now offered formwork and cranes, mobile ladders plus other supporting equipment. Albeit a little crude and certainly not up to today's OH&S standards, the business continually grew and more equipment was purchased. The fleet continuing to grow, it included backhoes, tip trucks, rock blasting equipment and more concrete plant equipment. In 1978, the original Bilsma Hire Shed was extended at the street front and that same layout and structure is still used today, 